Now, you might be wondering how come I'm not also stocking up my ship with these or my freighter. And the reason for that is because you have to sell these all in one transaction. If I sell half of, you know, if I sell what's in my inventory in one transaction, that's going to lower the price to a certain point. Um, but then if I go and try and sell them again uh, in a second transaction, like from my ship inventory, I'm not going to get the same pricing. So you have to do this all from just your own inventory. And welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to start our path to 100 mil in credits. Actually, way beyond that, but 100 mil is going to be our our first milestone. Um, so the way we're going to do that is uh, we're, we're going to start out with 20.8 million in our in our capital cash, and we are going to flip wiring looms. Now, if you guys have been watching anybody else's uh, YouTube videos, you probably know what this is all about. In case you don't, though. Uh, basically the concept is that you get yourself as much bag space as you can so you'll notice I have everything cleared out of my inventory except for the actual components themselves um, and I also have uh, five cargo slots so far and you go up you go to a wealthy system and you buy up all of the wiring looms that you can that you can put in your bag that you can put you know that you have room for and then you go to another wealthy system and you sell them all and then in doing so you significantly lower the price and then you buy them back up for uh, less money than you originally bought them for and in addition you get a new bag slot from the station and you get a new bag slot from the anomaly because if you didn't know this if you spawn the anomaly in to a new system you can once again get a new cargo slot so you basically get two cargo slots per system you buy everything back up you get just a little bit more because you have two more cargo slots and then you move on to the third system and you sell what you have you crash the market there you get two more slots and then you buy it back up at, the, at an even cheaper price and eventually after you've done it three or four or five times um, you'll be able to crash the market all the way down and get the cheapest price and each time you do that you get two additional bag slots and it just keeps growing and it exponentially compounds until you have a crap ton of money okay I'm not going to show that entire process here on YouTube I'm just going to show you the start of it and then kind of give you updates as we go until we hit a hundred a hundred million and then you know and like I said we'll be uh, we'll be going way beyond a hundred million but that's going to be kind of our target point and then after that I'll, uh, I'll probably continue uh, to do that but mostly off camera okay so that's what we're gonna do hope you guys enjoy this video if you do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel uh, also consider sharing out the video on your social media and uh, leaving a comment all those things help the channel really appreciate it okay let's get started so we're gonna do most of our jumping with our freighter and the reason we're gonna do that is because the freighter is a lot more economical to fuel we can fuel the entire thing with only one warp cell we can fill up the whole tank on the freighter where the hell's my freighter at there uh here uh we can fill up the entire uh hyperdrive tank with one warp cell whereas it takes like five to fill our starship i don't understand that it doesn't make sense but it is the way that it works currently so we're going to take advantage of that now i do also have a full hyperdrive uh engine two with warp fuel and i've got this uh class a warp core add-on that gives me almost twice as much range and a little more efficiency so if we do you know end up taking our ship on occasion too we can do that um, and then I have one extra warp cell that we can spin and then of course as needed we will make more as we go along okay so that is the plan so let's go ahead and oh the other thing about a freighter if you didn't know this is the freighters can also warp to the special systems the red green and blue star systems that we can't normally do on our starship without special drives which we don't currently have all right, that all said, let's go ahead and go into our warp menu. Uh, I, I looked around a little bit before I started the video uh, so we could find our first system. And that system is, I believe, uh, so, so we're here in, in Kaylee. And the one we're looking for is going to be, let me back up just a little bit, this advanced system right here. Okay, we're going to select that system. Now, if you don't understand how the economy works, basically there's three levels of systems in No Man's Sky. Okay, uh, let me see if I can reposition myself here. I don't, I don't like navigating in VR in the galaxy map. It's just weird. Um, Okay, so uh, basically there's low-level systems, and low-level systems are going to have 
you know, words that are kind of more destitute, like poor or unbalanced or unpromising or declining, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, then you're going to have mid-level systems, like um, Kaylee here is a mid-level system, and it says, it, you know, they'll say comfortable, or they'll say terms like sustainable, uh, all three of these stars here, uh, adequate, and so on and so forth. So more like, you know, mediocre types of words. And then, you know, the high, the, or un, that would be a low level because it says unsuccessful. But the high level systems, are and that one's a medium because it says medium supply. But the high level systems are going to have words like advanced or uh, opulent or affluent or wealthy um, or high demand, those you know sorts of things. So these are the systems we want to go to because of the fact that we can buy more items there and we can sell more items there. Plus, there's a greater chance, you know, that that we're going to find higher level stuff like S class ships, S class multi tools, and whatnot in these higher systems. So these are the ones that we're going to be targeting as we do this. Now, the other thing we're going to do as we go along, we're going to discover the systems and we're going to name them, and we're going to name them according to the type of system they are. So when we get to the system, we're going to name it minerals slash advanced. And the reason I'm doing that is so that later on, if I want to do some actual trading, not you know, wire loop flipping, but actual trading with the trade goods, I'll already have a good little mapping of where all the good systems are. So we're going to, you know, we're going to kill actually three birds with one stone doing this. We're going to make the money, we're going to increase our bag slot, and we're going to start mapping out the future trade routes, okay? So let's go ahead and warp to this system, and to do that, we need to right trigger. Here we go. Okay, so this system was discovered by Hacksaw. I'm, I'm starting to think I might need to get out of this area because a lot of the systems I've run into he's discovered um, because I can't um, I can't name, I don't think I can name this system yeah I can't name the system which means that I can't map it for later so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start here uh, at least for you know this video for the first couple of times that we do this but I might actually end up going away. Um, sometimes I get into this little glitch where I can't go through the corridor. It's really weird. Uh, way, way from here and try and find another area where nobody else has been. Which shouldn't be too hard with 15 quintillion planets. But anyway, we'll start here and uh, go from there. Okay? So let's hop into our starship here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to summon the anomaly. Now, I'm also expecting any time now, it could even happen in this system, to come across another ship battle. And when that happens, we'll have the opportunity, like we did before, to um, to protect the ship and then buy it if we want to. So just like it happened before, only this time we'll actually have to buy it. We won't be able to get it for free. Um, so, you know, depending upon you know how good the next ship's going to be, we might... You know, we might do that, so we'll, we'll be keeping an eye out for that too. But we're going to go into the anomaly first because we can get our we're going to get our our first bag slot in here, and then we'll get the other bag slot from the actual station itself, and then we'll go in and buy the wiring looms. So I'm going to be doing this a lot. It's pretty much the same cycle. So you warp into the system, at least the way. Oh man, that's a cool looking ship. Uh, warp into the system. Summon the anomaly, go get the bag slot from the anomaly, go to the station, get the bag slot from the station, buy up the wiring looms or sell them, um, you know, if, you, if you've already come from a different system. Pick up all the nanites in the system. Uh, we're also going to take any missions that involve earning nanites, and those missions will stack. And so uh, I'm just going to pick the missions up. I'm not going to actually do them until I have a whole bunch of them. So then I can just go out and do them all in one fell swoop. And, you know, pick up the nanites in the station too, you know, that are in the cubes and whatnot. And build up our nanite supply. Okay, so here we go. Take the first exosuit. We're going to put every single one of these for now um, into our cargo slots because we get more space in the cargo slots than we do in the normal slots. In fact, we'll probably put everything in the cargo slots until we completely max out our cargo before we put them in our normal slots. Because it's all about inventory space. The more inventory space you have, the faster you make the money doing this. And once again, um, 
I, ha- I, ma- I mentioned this once before in a few episodes back, but uh, the credit to this, or at least the first person that I saw do this, was Hawks Gaming on his YouTube channel. So he, he pretty much I've learned all this stuff from him. Um, this is anything, any, isn't anything I figured out myself, but it just seems to be, from what I've heard, probably the best way to make money in this game, at least in the early game, if not even in the late game, too. Uh, okay, so, uh, now we need to go to the station. So, it's right over here. Yeah, our ship in inventory is pretty full right now. I wonder if, um... See, now I can recruit those frigates for my... For my system. I wonder if, if we're gonna get a battle here. That's uh, something I'm definitely planning on doing, but I'm not going to do that right now. But we will buy up some more frigates, and we'll, we'll start doing some fleet missions and stuff, too. I'm actually really, really looking forward to doing that. Uh, but, yeah, that's not what we're going to do now. I was just checking to see if we're going to get the the next, uh, you know, uh, protection mission for them. Let's hop out. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to this side first. And so what we, what we do is we kind of have a little bit of a ritual. So the first thing I'm I would do if I if I had discovered this system myself, um, I would rename it. And I would rename it. I I usually keep its actual name, but then I put minerals slash advanced on the end, you know, so that I can. Um, you know, start establishing that trade route. Uh, and then you actually need to open up the terminus itself so that you log it and you can come back here later. If you forget to do that, then I don't think uh, it'll remember that you did that, okay? Uh, then I'll look around and see if there's any of the nanite cubes to pick up. Uh, checking the guys' desks. This is the mission agent, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take any missions that the mission agent has that allows us to earn nanites. Um, so, doesn't look like any of, of the ones he has will allow me to earn nanites. We don't bother with the ones that do units because we're going to be making a ton of units and the turn in on these quests is absolutely painful. Um, it just takes so long. So we're going to hop back here real quick and just see if there is a nanite station on the wall. There isn't. If there is, you can get a pretty nice little chunk of nanites out of those. Okay, so, now, uh, here's where we do our first purchase so once again we're starting out with 8.5 million so that's our starting point uh, I'm sorry 20.8 million I read that wrong 20.8 million and our goal is to get up to 100 million and then beyond so we're gonna go to the buy menu and we're going to uh, oh there is one other thing I have to do I have to figure out how many slots I actually have in my inventory right so we have, so each of these are five. So we got five times three is 15, 20. Uh, so we have 100 slots here. And then in each of these are 10. So we have another 60. So we can fill this up with 160 wiring loops for our first, uh, our first purchase. And remember, each time we do this, we're going to be able to increase it more and more. Now, at first, we're not going to make a ton of money, but each time we do it, it's, we're going to make more and more and more as we go. Okay, so we still have room for a few more. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy the remaining wire, wiring looms here off of the ships that come in. But before we do that, let's hop up here. And once again, we're going to check around and see if there's any cubes. Here's one here that we could loot. Okay. We're going to go back here and look for um, cubes or nanites. Sometimes they'll, we'll find those back here. I don't see anything. And we're not going to mess around with um, that stuff. Now, the terminals on both sides are on the same market, but they can have different loot. Okay, so there's actually two more wiring looms over here we could buy, which is kind of funny. Only two. So you can find a different arrangement or a different inventory 
on that terminal, but it's still on the same economy as the one across the way there. In case you guys didn't know that. Okay, we're going to check the multi-tool. Um, and see just what it is. So this is a class... Oh, it's an S-class. It's an S-class, but it does not have the slots that ours has, and it has less damage and scanner range. So, yeah, this is this would not be a good purchase. Now, one advantage this would have over this is it's going to have a longer, you know, a longer charge. But I mean, this is this is still all considerably better because of all the slots and because we've already upgraded it. So we're going to decline on that. But it does go to show that. You know, you have a greater chance of getting those S-Class uh, items here in these wealthy systems. Okay, now we're going to grab our other bag slot, which I, I should have actually done before I bought, but that's okay. Because we're not done buying anyway. Uh, and we're going to put this in our cargo. Okay, cool. And I think that's it for over here. Now what we have to do is turn and face the entryway and wait for uh, ships to come in because we have a few more slots that we have to fill up and supposedly uh, you need to face the entryway to c get the ships to spawn if you don't then they may not spawn in or they may not spend ver spawn in very often uh, at least that's what I have been told okay so we can we can basically buy s 16 more looms uh, to fill no 19 yeah we can buy 19 more looms to completely fill up our cargo so we're just gonna wait for our ship to come in <laughs> and do that. Now, you might be wondering how come I'm not also stocking up my ship with these or my freighter. And the reason for that is because you have to sell these all in one transaction. If I sell half of, you know, if I sell what's in my inventory in one transaction, that's going to lower the price to a certain point. Um, but then if I go and try and sell them again, uh, in a second transaction, like from my ship inventory, I'm not going to get the same pricing. So you have to do this all from just your own inventory. Or theoretically, if you had more space in your ship, you could do it all just from your ship too. Uh, but I'm just going to do it from my own inventory. Okay, looks like we may have a ship coming in here in just a moment. So we'll wait for him. We need 19 more of these things. Now the ships that land in the station will be on the same economy as the station terminals. So, you know, once you crash the price here, <clears throat> then you've also crashed the, the price in the same way and in the same amount for the ships that dock on the station itself. Okay, finally. I actually uh, saved and reloaded my autosave. I don't know if that did any good because I still have to wait for a few more minutes even after that. So we need 19 more of these suckers. Okay, hello Mr. Specialist Get Guy. buy items from life form and we need 19 so we're not really we didn't we weren't able to really uh, well we couldn't crash the price because we didn't sell anything so this is our first time buying we won't start seeing the profits till really the third the third station that we hit okay so that should give us let's just look at your ship real quick it's a class C yeah okay so that should give us a full inventory so everything is full there, and everything... No! I must have miscounted. Okay, we can actually buy 20 more. Okay, come back here, dude. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I must have miscounted. Okay, so let's buy 20 more. And that should fill us up. I'm glad I checked that. Okay, so now we're completely full. Excellent. All right, let's head on out. I'm going to jump in the ship. Pop back out to get a save point. And here we go. So now we're going to go back to our freighter. And we're going to warp. We'll find another wealthy system and warp to that system. Once you get going with this, you won't need to buy off the ships at all because what you end up doing is you end up bringing in a bunch of that you sell to the system on top or the station on top of what they already have and it usually ends up being that you can, you can't buy all the rest of them out and keep them all in your one inventory now one thing you could do is buy them all out at the cheaper price and store the spares in your freighter and or your starship 
and then sell those in a separate system. That would also work too. But uh, right now we're just going to focus on doing it out of our own inventory. Uh, we should still have plenty of warp fuel in our freighter drive. Uh, do we? Oh, maybe we don't. I thought uh, I thought we could get multiple jumps off on that. If that's not the case, maybe maybe we will have to use our starship. All right. Well, we we'll use this for the next jump. Anyway, it might have that. It might have also had just something to do with how far away uh, that jump actually was. Well, it's not really that far though. That is factory. That one's adequate. Medium supply. Opulent. Um. Yeah. That's an opulent one, so let's select that one, and we should be able to warp to it with the right trigger. Here we go. And that's a blue system, too. So we'll slowly work our way towards the, the black hole path, I guess, for now. But what, I need to get away from this area that Hacksaw's been in. I'm missing out on, you know, the nanites and stuff from those discoveries, too, but more importantly, at this point, I just want to be able to name them so I can establish a trade route. Uh, okay, let's go back to the ship for a minute. Yeah, that did drain our drive. Okay, I was under the impression we could get multiple jumps out of that, but apparently not. So we might end up go ahead and, and just using our, our starship because we do have those efficiency thrusters and stuff on it. Okay, we did get first contact in this system, so that's good. Okay, we're going to stop here and call in the anomaly. Okay. And go get our bag slot. Okay, here we are at the station now. We just picked up uh, our uh, next cargo slot at the anomaly. And let's uh, let's run it over to this side first. And do that first, so I don't forget this time. So we grab our bag slot, select cargo, upgrade cargo. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is go to the mission person. Kind of looks like a dog. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong side. Noobin out, noobin out. I thought something was not quite right there. All right, let's grab the nanites, check the uh, multi-tool. This is a class A multi-tool, but it does not have as many slots as ours, and it's not as good with damage or scanner. So we'll check that. Uh, let's run into the back room here. Any nanites on the wall in here? It does not look like it. Okay, let's go ahead and do our cell here. So we are going to sell all of the wiring looms that we have. And this is going to start to crash the price. It's not going to be enough to completely crash it yet. It's going to take us a few trips uh, to be able to do that. So we're back up to 19.4 million, so we're about a million and a half less than what we started with. But that's not a problem because, like I said, that's going to start growing like crazy. But we did, we did affect the price, so now it's... Um, minus 38 below whereas before I think it was only like minus 8 or something below so this is going to get bigger and bigger each time we do this until it's up into the 70s which effectively means the price has crashed at that point um, okay so now what we do is uh, actually before we do that uh, whoops I want to go back I want to go over to the other side uh, before I buy the rest of month and the reason being is because we might well look at all those ships uh, we might um, pick up a data module or something and I want to make sure I have room for it okay so none of the missions that we can take are nanites so we're gonna pass that we'll just keep looking every time we come by check around real quick for uh, cubes I don't see anything Okay, now what we do is we're going to name this system. And I, something just occurred to me. 
I don't think I can do this in VR because it doesn't like me to uh, to name stuff in VR. Because uh, if I hit B for rename and upload, it doesn't bring up a naming interface. Okay, you know what that means then? That means I need to probably hop out of VR and do this in normal mode. Uh, because I want to name that before we actually leave the system. Uh, that sucks. But apparently we're not able to do that. Okay, well, anyway. Let's go ahead and buy up everything we have. So I'm just making sure that I have a full cargo space for this. Okay, so we've basically got 90 slots now in our cargo. And then we have 100 slots in here, so we should be able to buy 190 of the wiring loops. And we get them for a little bit better price than we did the first time, but each time we do this again, like I said, it's going to get better and better. Wait a minute, what? Okay, so these are five, and we got 15. Five times 15 is 30, 60, 75, 80, right? So 90 and 80, so 170. I hate doing math. <laughs> okay, 170 I think is the number we're looking for. Let's try this again. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's just double check, make sure everything's completely full, because I have terrible math skills. Okay, everything's full. All right, guys, well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and in the episode here, I'm going to log out on VR and come back in normal mode, get this terminal named, and then just proceed in normal mode uh, as, we, as we go through this. Um, which kind of sucks. It would have been fun to do it in VR, but it is what it is. I'm gonna just do this. So you basically seen how 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 you know what the cycle is, wash, rinse, and repeat. And at some point, I'll bring you back uh, and just kind of update you on my progress, um, and we'll go from there. Okay? But our our immediate our first big goal is 100 mil, which uh, shouldn't be having much trouble at all hitting. Um, and so I might bring you back once or twice before that point, but definitely bring you back at that point. I am also expecting at some point here for another uh, freighter to become available for us to purchase uh, could happen in the very next time I warp so um, if that freighter turns out to be better than the one we have uh, then I'll probably show that to you as well and uh, we'll purchase that and upgrade our freighter too okay hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button and subscribe to the channel uh, also consider sending out uh, or rather sharing out the video on your social media and leave it a comment those things do help the channel and I greatly appreciate it guys have a great rest of your day goodbye